This is a tutorial on how to add Pear Deck inside your Google Slides. For you to do that, first, open your Google Slides. So if you don't have a Google Slides open, you can just type in slides.new in your URL or your Chrome address bar or your browser bar so that it will open a brand new Google Slide for you. So once you do that, it will open this window right here. This is what you will see. Now, click on the add-ons. And in your add-ons, you'll be able to see all of the current add-ons you've added to your uh, Google Slide. Now, if you would like to manage them or you would like to remove some of them, just click on Manage Add-ons. But if you want to add, and in this case, we're going to be adding Pear Deck, just click on Get Add-ons. So wait for this window to load and uh, look for Pear Deck. So Pear Deck is right there in front. It's one of the most popular add-ons of Google Slides. But if you don't see it there, just click on the search field and type Pear Deck for you to be able to see it. In this case, we're just going to click on Pear Deck. Once we click on it, we're just going to install it. I'm a Google admin for my G Suite account. That's why I see both installing for my domain so if you're a g suite admin you can actually install pear deck for your entire domain or if you're an individual this is the only one that you're going to see so clicking on the individual install will install pear deck only for your account so in this case i will do that and once i continue i will have to choose the account that i'm going to be using for pear deck and i'm going to be using mary at cheatech.guru Pear Deck will be asking for permissions, and I'm just going to allow it. It would uh, ask for permissions to manage my Google Slides. So let me just allow that. If your phone is connected to your Google account, you might get a quick um, message from Google saying that you've allowed Pear Deck uh, some permissions on your Google account because Google is just like that. There, so now that it's uh, already installed, you're going to need to do one more step. So let me just close this window and you can see that Pear Deck is right there on the side of your Google Slide now. However, I'm just going to complete um, my free account. So I'm just gonna sign up for a free account. If you do have a Pear Deck um, license for your school, just ask for it from your admin. But if you don't, that's all fine because we can always complete our free account. So I'm just gonna click on that. And what you do is you log in with your Google account. So in this case, I am going to log in with my, uh, with my G Suite account, which is mary at gtech.guru. I'm going to choose that I'm a teacher and I'm going to authorize with Google. So you need to make sure that you do these steps before we do our uh, training. So as you can see, I have lots of Google accounts right here. Um, most of them are G Suite accounts. Then another set of permissions right there. I'm just going to allow that. There you go. So it says here that I'm one of the first educators in my school to use Pear Deck. So that's a nice thing about Pear Deck is, is that I'm just going to have to put in here my postal code. And then um, I'm, I don't have a school, but I do have a um, consulting company. That's what I'm going to use for this. There you go. So it says here that I have 90 days of unlimited access to all of Pear Deck's premium features. I think this is one of those things that they're uh, giving away because of COVID-19. And um, I'm very happy to just accept that. So now we can go back to Google Slides. And that's it. Now that you have already set up your account, then you can just um, get ready to begin with our session. Thank you so much for watching.